Okay, assignment time. In the assignment, let's see, what do I want you to produce? An elephant? No. Giraffe? No. Hey, how about a human skull? Yeah, that sounds like a good assignment, right? So your assignment is to develop a low-res human skull. So yours should look like this. Okay. And right next to it, I want you to put a copy of it in its next state, which is the next higher res. And the point here is to kind of look at, see if you have everything uh, down pat, right, right in this area right here. On the next res, you would probably have to what? Average some of these vertices out. You could probably do that here also. So these vertices right here, that way it doesn't have this weird crown on the top of your head. So, but that's, that's little nitpicky things that um, you can do outside this video. There we go. That looks a little better. So your high res mesh should have very good flow topology, uh, the edges going all the way around, uh, you have your teeth, everything. Now, that being said, you know, it's very hard to follow the instructor's movement vertice by vertice. So I'm not going to be so picky as to say, no, that vertice is two quadrants left or two quadrants right. That's not how this works. I'm still, I'm looking for an aesthetically appeasing skull that matches the orthographics. So just keep note of that. I do have OCD students that are just highly OCD where they're moving the vertice and they, and they ask me, you know, uh, you move that just a little bit. Is this one okay? Is this okay if I move this one here? So please don't uh, quantify it so much to say that I'm going to mark you down for each and every vertice uh, quadrant. Okay? There we go. That's your assignment. Develop a low-res skull. Enjoy.